Hey, um, for last night's homework on number 17, did you get like cosine of two? Oh. Oh god. What? Oh, it's what? um your your sh your shoulder is just out what? where everyone can see it, and I just like I looked right at. Oh, it's still there. Oh, so uh, yeah. cover it. What just like take about? something and cover your shoulder with Why? it. Why? If he's in a baby, put. Oh, I looked right at it. Oh no, no. It's being sent out via email to the entire upper school community. Um, but the highlights, particularly for the girls, are um, the shorts and skirts being length of your thumb when your arms are hanging down normally, um, no ripped clothing, um, no undergarments showing. Um, let me make sure I've got it. Um, tops must extend below the hips if you're wearing yoga pants or leggings and no athletic shorts or athletic pants unless it's dress down day. Um, I think for me the, the purpose of the dress code means um, respecting Ravenscroft's community. Mm -hmm. um, we're a learning environment. Uh, we have all, you know we have guests on campus um, all, often and you know a faculty that dresses professionally and, and is most interested in in creating the best learning environment that we can and really not having a lot of distractions or things that just look inappropriate. Um, well for the seniors uh, I keep a spreadsheet um, and they I mark down when I've spoken to particularly a young woman, about um, a dress code violation, and I marked down the date that it happened. And after, the f on the fourth violation, um, a phone call goes home and a detention is assigned. I luckily have George Vernal as um, a dress code violator. First of all, I can't even see her shorts. Uh, I didn't mention that in my, my previous guidelines, but if I can't see if you're wearing shorts, that should make the list. Um, yes, I would say she has a wrist rule going on here. Uh, her shorts are the length of her wrist, should be the length of her thumb. Uh, visible undergarments, I think she's safe there. So uh, yeah, that would be can't see the shorts and are about four inches too short. Anything you can do to fix that, Georgia? Oh, you're in luck. They roll down. Oh, not pull down. Not the shimmy. The roll down. There we go. Oh, a third dress code violation. The cut-off jean shorts. Forgot that. Can't have cut-off jean shorts. So there we are. She would go to uh, Miss Moore. Uh, actually, if I noticed her in the hallway, I would contact Miss Moore and say, I have a dress code violation for you. Uh, Georgia Vernal is out of dress code, and Miss Moore would call her in, speak to her about what the dress code violation was, and would record it and would consider it a warning. Well, I appreciate that question. To me, um, following the dress code is just being respectful of our community. I encourage everyone to think about, you know, school as a job. It's a job for us. It's a job for you all. So there's a certain way that you dress when you go to, quote, work. And um, when you're not at work, you can wear other things. Uh, perhaps be more comfortable, be more relaxed in your attire. But for school, I think it's just important to be respectful of the expectations. They're reasonable. Um, they're manageable and um, we look forward to sort of a renewed commitment on everybody's part to upholding our dress code. Thanks for asking. Well, no student should wear a, a t-shirt with any sort of slogan on it or advertisement for things that are not allowable or legal for students. Um, things like alcohol advertisements. Um, vulgar language, those sorts of things just aren't appropriate for school. Um, as I've already mentioned, I think it's just being respectful of our community and thinking of school like a job and I don't think you'd wear, you know, a Bud Light t-shirt to work.